Hey friend, before we even get into the contents of this course and what I'm about to introduce to you, I want to invite you to just close your eyes for a moment and thank yourself for deciding to take part Really let the feeling of appreciation for that decision land in your body, in your heart. Maybe crack a little smile to yourself. When you come home to yourself, where deep, deep, long-lasting, long-term healing can take place. Where we can let go of old patterns, old worn-out ways, and create space for our new selves, our real, authentic selves. Take a couple of breaths. And thank yourself. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to Come Home to Yourself, the evening edition of my mini course that will teach you a series of practices, resources and tools that you can use to create your own daily ritual or however frequently you want to practice to really kind of teach yourself that your body and your own presence is your best healer, that you can trust your body in stillness and find a space, create a space in your home where you can really just crave to come home to on a daily basis, preferably in the evening time when we can so easily be distracted by scrolling or TV or whatever other kind of avoidant practices that we do when there's a little bit of time we can create for ourselves to really just hold and support ourselves through this healing journey. So although this is called a mini course, there's no kind of work necessarily for you to do. Um, there's no nothing to achieve. There's no challenge. There's no like you know, there's nothing you need to necessarily perform. Um, so I want to just outline that straight away because the word mini course might make you think there's loads of homework. Um, this is not like that. This is going to be a really comforting place for you to come home to and just really lean into some beautifully soothing practices that you can do in whatever time that you have. So the different types of practices that I've included in here are, as you can see from the sections within the course, um, first of all is, is creating a sacred space for yourself. So it's really important to make sure that you have somewhere safe to come to, to practice your meditation, your journaling, whatever it is, your yoga, just your kind of you know, your soothing, however you want to build this soothing practice, a space to really feel safe in and private and comforted is going to make a world of difference to how this goes. Once you've created your sacred space, that will be your kind of glue to creating this ritual for yourself of an evening time. Of course, you can do this in the morning as well, but the type of practices that I've included in this mini course are geared towards winding down, offloading the mind and really letting the body settle into some deep restorative sleep for the nighttime. So other than creating your sacred space, 
I've also created a coping kit for moments of really kind of intense overwhelm. Um, there's some really unique meditations I've created as well that are specific just to this course for evening. There's a bathtub meditation that is a really beautiful mindfulness exercise that helps you just become really aware of your physical space, the sensations in your body, and kind of start to drop away from that thinking mind as the day kind of winds down. Um, I've also made a candle lit meditation, which is an open eye meditation practiced in darkness with a candle, which is beautiful to focus the mind. One of the most powerful types of meditation I've ever done and really ideal for people that kind of maybe find regular meditation a bit difficult to switch off the mind with the eyes closed. So this could be a really great new meditation style for you to try. Um, then I've created um, some new journal prompts for evening time to really help kind of offload thoughts of the day, stresses of the day onto paper so that your mind is kind of emptied of all the noise before you try and settle into a sleep. I found this really helpful during my own recovery, <clears throat> not only to offload thoughts and feelings, but also to kind of offload whatever I needed to remember for the following day, just to kind of get all of that stuff out of the mind. It really helps to let the brain just settle and shut up for a bit so it will allow you to fall asleep. Um, the other practices that I created is a pre-journaling or just a pre kind of self-inquiry somatic meditation, which is a beautiful short meditation to do before you journal or before you do any sort of self-inquiry, or it can just be used as a how to kind of notice your feelings in your body meditation. Um, I know so many people struggle to know where to start with journaling. Um, so this type of practice really helped me to kind of switch off from what I was doing during the day, land in this moment of, OK, I'm ready to do my self-inquiry now. I'm ready to do my self-study, whatever that is, journaling for you. Um, it just really helps to switch off from all the thinking and kind of become a little bit more embodied and notice what's going on in the body, where the feelings are, what emotions are there to be able to start your journaling practice. Um, what else is there? I did a bedtime yoga session, so a really soft and comforting, gentle bed based practice. It's only about 35 minutes long, so it's really kind of quick and easy to do before you settle into sleep. And then there's another new beautiful yoga nidra meditation practice as well, which is about 40 minutes. Um, for you to use if you do have trouble getting off to sleep or you can use that just as a meditation at any time. So there's a lovely mixture of evening wind down practices for you to use to really help you create that beautiful sacred ritual that you will kind of crave and long for during the day instead of going to the TV or maybe drink or whatever it is for you. So at the end of the course, there's a few examples of, of combinations of those practices that I like to do, depending on what your mood is like, what your energy level is like. So there's a few examples there as well to help start you off on your journey. And of course, I'm always here to help you with any suggestions that I can give you. Oh, there's also a music playlist as well um, of new music that you can use just whenever you're trying to relax and some breathing practices mixed in there as well. Some nice little squishy restorative poses in the yoga classes. Loads of elements that you can just fully immerse yourself in and just pick and choose really comforting pieces to this puzzle rather than kind of thinking that everything's gonna be hard work. So hopefully these, these pieces will really help you to just settle into something that feels comforting and warm and soothing rather than kind of difficult all the time. So I have blabbed on enough. Um, it's going to be obvious for you as you work through these elements as to you know where everything lives and what it all means. But if you have any questions, there's also a section in here um, of how to contact me. You can always post me questions by email or social, whatever you prefer. And yeah, there's also a free class pack in here for you to try any of my live or on-demand videos. 
loads of things not really a mini course in the end <laughs> but that's what I wanted to call it so it wasn't big and overwhelming and I really hope that you enjoy this um, and I'm really happy that you're here enjoy <laughs>